All right, let's start the countdown. 98. Come on, give it to me, give it to me. 99, 101. Oh my god, I got it, I got it. What is going on, my fellow YouTube lovers? My name is Cod Slayer, and today, I know it is crazy, but this gameplay, I got both a nuclear and over 100 kills. I got exactly 101 kills and 16 deaths. I think like 14 defense or something like that. But this is an absolutely sick gameplay, guys. This is the best gameplay I've ever gotten on um, this Call of Duty. This is actually not the highest kills I've gotten in the Call of Duty before, but it is my second highest, and for that, I am super happy because literally before this, me and Rage Scope, which is one of my friends in the clan, um, we're talking about me getting a nuclear that I have never gotten one or I've never even gotten over a hundred kills in this game So I basically said that I was gonna drop over a hundred kills and get a nuclear this game and I was just joking, you know But I freaking did it. No joke I literally got a nuclear and I probably got like a good 10 to 7 kills after the nuclear or even more but this is a really dope gameplay, guys, so I will be putting the class setup um, in the description below or maybe just on the screen if I can find how to do a picture of it. But basically, it's just a Vesper with quick draw, grip, um, extended mags, and long barrel. And then, like, blast suppressor, flat jacket, and um, I forget the other perk. I'm not bl It's the... It's the one that's a picture of a gun. It's like the one that it's kind of like Dexterity from Black Ops 2. But it's a really good setup, guys. I really recommend it. Um, so I got a lot of quad feeds in this, and it's not with my kill streak, surprisingly. And what I mean, I did get a lot of quad feeds and like six kill feeds with my score streaks. If you guys look at the kill feed, once I start getting my score streaks, the first round is not so good. I don't do so good. I only get like 39 kills or 40 kills, something like that, which is pretty good for one round. But the second round, I completely go off. I mean. Man, it was so sick. I do get the nuclear the first round. Um, a couple times I came to really close to dying, and I am going to spoil it for you guys. When I do get the nuclear, I think it was a 5 kill feed or a 4 kill feed. So, it was a pretty sick nuclear, if I do say so myself. But I do start um, slaying some people right there. No one has still captured B. Right now I'm going 14-6, not doing too well. Um, I haven't got any score streaks yet, which is stupid. This kid kept on killing me. Like, literally, he got a triple kill like three times with me included in it three times so it was it was pretty stupid but um i'm just trying to keep him off of b there it is again he got another triple kill with his freaking gravity spikes but i i don't want to imagine what i would have gotten if i said if i had like say vision pulse or a good specialist this glitch i'm only using it just to get the challenges done for it um, I, I can't imagine if i would have actually had a good specialist how many kills i would have gotten probably 150 to 120 um, depending on what specialist but oh my goodness this is where I start slaying Ashley actually I almost said Ashley um, but this this video is kind of be giving you guys a little bit of tips on how to do this yes this is my first time doing it but I've come really close several times to getting nuclears um, as well as 100 kill gameplays I mean my highest like I've gotten probably like 20 um, games where I've got over 70 kills but I've just never been able to complete it out and that was mainly because I didn't have any score streaks. But when I got the score streaks on and I started getting it probably like four times, I got the GI unit like four times this game. It, it's, it's pretty dope. Um, but this this setup for the, um, I guess you could say, sword, score streaks is actually pretty dope. This is where I really start slaying. I pick up this Weevil because I ran out of money. I mean, not out of money, out of ammo. And this is actually the gun I get the nuclear with. I hardly use this gun. I'm like rank, I'm like level three on it. This is where I really start um, just going off. So this is a really good example. Okay, so there's one person there. I kill him. Go back upstairs because I just got my Merciless. And for some reason, my talent got immediately destroyed. So kill this guy right there. All right? And I see that there's multiples coming. So I pre-aim. Get him. And now I got my wrap. So I'm just really trying to play it safely. Safely. I almost got killed there. Really close to getting killed there. And so this is a prime example. I should not have came out here and did this, but I did. Because I was really hungry for... Um, for stuff, um, points. So right there, I got a Fury Kill and a Ruthless. So come upstairs, kill this guy. Right now, I think I'm at like a 20 kill, not 20, like, I would say 18. Somewhere around there. I think a Ruthless is 15, but I do hop on the B flag, which is a really dumb idea if you're trying to get a nuclear. Get a really cheeky double kill there with a Weevil. The Weevil's actually really good. I would really recommend it. I mean, I pick up this guy's Weevil. I don't even think it has Quick Draw on it, but it shredded. Um, it was not a good idea to go to their spawn like this. Do not recommend doing that either. Um, but yeah, get my wraps in. Really starting to slay out. Um, I'm probably going like 20-0 right now. So going back upstairs, I really like slaying in their in their uh, building. 
So I chase after this guy, kill him, and then I know they're going to start spawning in the backyard because that's the only place they can spawn. There's a crap ton of people, probably three or four people that go over there, slide over there, get an insane triple kill right there, pretty dope. And I'm going back upstairs now. Basically, I, I stayed up in their spawn the entire time. So I see that there's another guy coming, so I retreat, call in my, my talent so he can take care of him, but he doesn't come through the window. But this guy comes in, and then this guy comes in, you know. I'm running Claw, I play Claw, so I so I do that. Um, but I'm saving my wraps here. I just got the Brutal Kill. I was literally screaming, me and my friend were screaming to the top of our lungs. I was so scared right now. So I thought this guy was going to kill me, but I still end up killing him. See, I'm only level 4 the Weevil, so I mean that proves how much I use it. Still have my talent. I'm keeping those wraps, trying to keep those wraps um, for the next round, but I decided to call him in. And then this, this, I'm just going to be quiet for this part. Here it comes. Quad feed right there. Here comes the nuclear. Two, three. Three kills, and before that I got four, so a total of seven kills for the nuclear. Oh my god, that... <laughs> first round I go, what, 58, 53? I can't really see because the, the, it's kind of small on my screen, but... Oh my goodness, this, <laughs> I literally was screaming, me and my friend were screaming during this, this was the best gameplay I've ever gotten on this game. So I have a GI unit to start off the round, and now I'm just going to start slaying, I'm going to start using the Weevil more, because that freaking slayed the other team. And this, I mean, it was really helpful that the other team was actually going for objective, because it, they did score a lot more than us, so that made the um, game last a lot longer. And right here I get two kills, and almost a third, but I get a 50% on that, so... So let's count that. That was, uh, I want to say that's five kills after the nuclear right there. Um, but I, I, I go on a pretty good streak. Um, I get a ton, a ton of score streaks. This is probably the most score streaks I've gotten in one game before. I mean, it, it was insane. Um, so there's another unstoppable metal right there. And their spawn. Killing them with my GI unit and going hand in hand. Almost kill that guy too, but a teammate picks him up. My GI unit is going ham right now. Another unstoppable. And at this point, me and my friend are not even, we're not even honestly trying. We're just running around. We're both screaming. I'm saying, oh my god, oh my god, like every five seconds. Probably worn it out a little bit too much. Um, I do end up dying right about here, but I honestly don't really care. I went like 50 and 0 right there, something like that. I wouldn't say 50, maybe 45 or something like that, but yeah. And I do end up, if you guys saw the intro, I do go 101 and 16 deaths. So I do get over 100 kills in one game as well. I got my two biggest achievements that I've wanted for ever since I got the game in one game. It This was the best game of my life. I'm still really happy. Got a nice cheeky quad feed there in the, in the game feed right there. Don't know how I didn't kill that guy. I uh, honestly do not know. But honestly, this game... This game is so fun. If you get a good class setup and you're decent at the game, you'll shred. And it's just so much fun to do this. I mean, who doesn't love to get a nuclear and over 100 kills in one game? I mean, if you don't like to do that, then you're weird. I mean, I'm sorry, but you're weird. So, this was probably the best gameplay I've ever gotten. I'm going to keep saying that, and I'm going to keep saying that. I mean, because it, it's true. But... As always, guys, if you guys want to check out the clan that I'm in is DMZ Clan. Um putting up on the screen the website of the clan it's a pretty dope clan like i said i was playing with rage scope he's a good friend of mine um he he he, he did pretty good he, i think he got like 50 to 60 kills he did pretty good too but i was just taking all the kills man i couldn't he couldn't he couldn't get anything because i was just in their spawn not letting them pass if you know what i mean i mean it was this i just can't i'm still really hyped up after um, this game but that is basically all i have i'm gonna give you guys a little bit of tips um, just real quick because I just feel like doing it since I just got this gameplay so one tip is that you don't want to pick you don't you want to be careful of what gun engagements you choose to um, uh, I guess challenge so you want if you have the Vesper class set up like I do then you're not gonna want to try to shoot someone across map when they have a mana war you're not gonna want to try and shoot people across the map Period. I mean, the Vesper's good, but it has a crap ton of recoil most of the time. Watch this little cheeky double kill I get with the Weevil. The Weevil, I'm really, I'm actually going to start using it, man. I mean, it, I was shredding people with it. Almost get another triple kill there. Get my, I think it's like my fifth talent. I mean, it's something insane like that. But, yes, choose your gunfights, guys. Choose it wisely. 
A good example is when I ran out that building um, in front of red car, there was one in front of the car and there was one behind the car. I got the one that was behind the car and I skipped the person that was capturing A because he was laying prone. I knew he was there, but he was laying prone behind it. And that would have had to cause me, if I wanted to get the kill, to jump over the car and expose myself in the middle. But instead, I just took one kill, went back into the cover of the house and started spawn killing again. And eventually, I got the nuclear. So that was obviously the best choice to go with. And that's probably the biggest, um, I guess you could say, um, tip I can give you is to choose wisely of what gun engagements you choose to fight or challenge. Um, but another good tip I could give you is to run good score streaks. If you're running, like, you know, really low score streaks, then yes, you could still get a nuclear, but it's a crap ton harder because they're not as distracted as they would be if you have wraps flying everywhere, talons, and GI units distracting them. I mean... Without these score streaks, I wouldn't have gotten neither of my 100 kill gameplay nor my nuclear. Because all of my score streaks were distracting them, allowing me to get behind them and flank them and get a ton of kill feeds, etc. Here's the 100 kill gameplay ending right there. Get 101 kills, die right there. But that is the end of the gameplay, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was my best gameplay. As always, guys, I'm Codslayer. Hope you guys are having a good day as I am. I'm signing out.